Queuing with English, how do we get better at it? Let's dig in. All right, queuing with English, how do we get better at it? Uh, I would say the thing that sticks out the most, the problem I see the most with most people is that when they are shooting a shot, center ball, they, set, they tend to stroke the ball pretty straight. Their back elbow, their fundamentals look pretty good. However, when they start using English, they start doing weird things. They start using off-center, left or right English, and you start to see this type of stuff with their back arm. You end up missing, you end up doing a lot of fun, funny things. Maybe you make the ball, maybe you're doing some sort of backhand English thing. It's hard to be consistent with that, in my opinion. But what I see more than anything is that people start twisting when they use English. So if they're using right English, they tend to twist, twist in. When they use left English, they tend to twist, twist out. And it leads to missing. It leads to bobbling a ball. It leads to just being inconsistent. So the first thing I would suggest is when you get down aiming with English or a straight ball or whatever, is every shot is a straight line. Your cue needs to move in a straight line, and it me means so much more when you are shooting off center. We always think about deflection, and we'll blame a lot of things on deflection, and deflection is very, very real. But shooting the ball, cueing straight through the ball, mitigates deflection and misses so, so much. You'd be surprised at how much less you're probably deflecting and more you're just twisting. So that to me is tip number one here with cueing with English, is go straight through the ball, don't twist. And speaking of through the ball, that is tip number two here. You gotta get through the ball. Don't give up on the ball. Don't go into this ball as soon as you come through, you, get, you start to decelerate and die with, the, with your stroke. You feel like you want to hit it softer, so you do that. And what happens is you end up, you end up missing the ball completely because you're adding so much more spin with that decelerated stroke that it's veering off course. So you want to just get through the ball. You want to get through the ball with that side spin in a straight line. And then I think tip number three here with, aim, with queuing with English is kind of in the same realm of getting through the ball, but you want to get through the ball with a consistent speed. If you need the cue ball to get down table or just a little bit, um, just, you know, go one foot or 12 feet, you really can hit the ball at the same speed. And um, a good way to think about it is like a golfer. So... If you have a 100 yards to the pin or you have 150 yards to the pin, you don't hit the 150 yard harder, you change your club. You have a, a club with uh, less um, loft, I guess they would call it in golf. And the same is true when it comes to uh, pool. If you need to move the cue ball more, you add more English instead of hitting the ball closer to center. So the, the, the less your ball has to move, the less English you need, the more your cue ball has to move, the more, cue, the more uh, English you'd have to use. But again, step one and st or tip one and tip two are so, so important. Cueing through the ball and not giving up on your stroke. Don't let up on your stroke. Get all the way through it. At a consistent speed for all of your shots. And I got a tip, a drill, that I think can help you out tremendously with doing all of this. So let's dig into that. All right, here's a drill that I recommend doing if you struggle with using English. Struggle with pocketing the balls with English. Struggle with all of this. I would recommend doing this. So I got the cue ball and the object ball about a, a thumb width off the rail, straight into the pocket, super easy shot. But when you start using English and you start twisting your arm, this happens quite often. 
You'll miss that shot. Every single person watching this video at some point in their pool playing lives has done exactly that. Where they've tried to get up table, they've used English, and they've left the ball sitting in the pocket. However, if you stroke straight through the ball like this, you get the English you want, and the ball goes in. That back elbow, when you start twisting, for no reason, just subconsciously, we tell ourselves that we need to twist our arm, so we do it. If you can break yourself of that habit, and this is a good drill to do that, you're gonna be way more consistent pocketing balls with English. Straight in, I was able to hit, and it just slides all the way up. And keep in mind, the cue ball doesn't know if you're using inside English, doesn't know if you're using outside English, doesn't know if the ball's straight in or you have a lot of angle, it doesn't know. The cue ball reacts the same if you hit it the same. So if you have a shot that's straight in or at an angle, if you hit the ball the same with English, it's gonna do the same thing. So you need to take that object ball out of your mind when you're doing this and just try to be as consistent as possible addressing the cue ball and following straight through. It's a really good drill. You can do it the long rail, you can do the short rail. I'm doing the short rail because it's just easier to film this way. Give that a try. I hope these tips help. They helped me greatly. Good luck, have fun.